Pepperd Autoplex. Uh, yes, sir, who is this, please? This is Jay. Yes, sir, Mr. Jay. Don't y'all rent cars out there? Yes, sir. My name is Willie P. Richland. I got a trip I need to make uh, to go pick up a sister of mine, and I was wondering, have you got a sort of a little small car or some kind of a rent out there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I need to ask you something. What I'm going to do, she is fitting to get out to penitentiary out here at Gatesville. And I ain't got no, my old car is towed up and everything, and I ain't got no way to get her out and everything. And I was going to go out there and get her and bring her back over here to home uh, tomorrow. And uh, she she wants to drive. She's been in there about four or five years, and we're going to stop over here in Waco or somewhere and try to get her some driver license. Would it be all right if she drove after she get them license? Uh, she, she has to be on the rental agreement with yes. the driver's license number, so I don't see how in the world it'd work. Well, if I was to call you from over there after she gets... Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Yes, uh-huh. Well, uh, I tell you, this may sound kind of funny to you, and it's, and I, I, it's my sister and everything, but she a midget, and uh, she can't hardly see over the steering wheel. That's why I asked about a little bit of car like that, you know? She ain't but about three and a half feet tall. I guess she, sometimes she set up on a little cushion or something when she's driving and everything. How do we have to pay for that? Can we pay for that till we get back? No, sir. You can't. Well, what do y'all just figure out how far it is and we have to pay it all for? Right, get a uh, open credit card voucher. Yes. Sir. Before you leave. Uh-huh. Uh, so you got to have a credit card to get one? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Well, my... I ain't got no credit card. If I got somebody else's, then it had, you know, it, would that be all right? Whoever, whoever rents a car, it has to be in their name. Yes. Yeah. They want to rent the car and show you as an additional driver, and they got proof of liability insurance and a driver's license. That suits me. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it don't make no difference about that. No. And you think after my sister get her license, it'd be okay for her to drive back? The only thing that kind of worried me about is she, right before she went into the penitentiary about five years ago, she was acting real crazy. You might have seen it in the paper about everything. She got three or four DWIs and was fooling with drugs and everything, you know. But, but she insisted on driving back home from over there. And I'm trying to, you know, she's been in there so long, I'm trying to do something nice for her here, you know. Yeah. You think that'd make any difference? <laughs> it doesn't make any difference to me. Whoever rents the car and puts their insurance up, you know, the one that's going to be at risk. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, reckon somebody the insurance will cover her. Like I guess somebody else's name on it, you know. I, I, I tell you what I think you're doing. I think you're taking a great risk. A risk? Yeah. Uh-huh. You mean letting her drive it? Mm. Well, you know, she's been over there so long, I figure they probably got her straightened out by now. But you can't ever tell about people, you know. She's been writing these letters and everything, saying she's changed and all that. Done found religion and everything. Man, she used to be bad, too. So I don't know. Well, I sure think I'd get her home and see before I gave her too much freedom. <laughs> Check her out, huh? Yeah, she got to check in down here with a, what you call probation of people or something like that when she gets back. And uh, I guess they, I guess they tell her what she, you know, what all she can do and everything. Do y'all need any help out there? I bet you she ain't gonna be able to get no driver's license. For you, you. you don't think so? No, not, not immediately. Yes. Sir. I could be wrong, but I don't know much about that kind of stuff. Yes. Sir. Well, do y'all? You know, she gonna need a job when she gets out. And she used to be a bookkeeper, you know, but I know she might have to start out like washing cars or something like that. Y'all need any help out there? No, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all don't need no more salesmen or nothing out there. She could talk, nearly could talk her way out of everything. She didn't talk her way out of that last thing, but she always had been up to then. You know, everybody feels sorry for her being a midget and everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I ain't with two of us out here, and we just handle things. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I sure thank you for your help. All right. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Okay.